I'm glad I'm meeting you in, in another session. That is chapter 3, video number 3 of grade 6, Science and Water as Natural Resources. Now, types of water based on availability. That's what we are going to see and we will understand what are the things. Types of water based on availability. What kind of water available in the world and where it is available. We will find out in a little deep way. Shall we get into the subject? Okay. What happens to the raindrops when they fall onto the earth? What happens to the raindrops when they fall onto the earth? You play little boat sometimes, don't you? Or oh, even when you were very small, you used to make paper boats and kept in the water. And it, you will see that it is floating away, right? That is right. Sometimes they flow. Now, sometimes they are absorbed by the soil. After some days, it's raining heavily outside. And where the water is going? Some of the water will absorb by what? It is going inside the soil. That is the right way. Now, and sometimes they gather in a muddy puddles. Naughty children, they go and jump in that muddy puddles and all the water will come out. So these are way that water is getting into the environment. Now, let's do the following activity to find out what happens to the raindrops when they fall onto the earth. Look at this example very carefully. I'm going to take a blue color pen that looks more rainy, right? When the rain is falling onto the earth, when the rain is falling onto the earth, now there are water ponds and the streams and even the sea everything there is water right right now this is one way that water is coming that is one form of water and this is one form of water and another form of water is available do you know where it is it is beneath this soil it is beneath this soil okay now we're going to understand that one so raining is falling when the raining is falling the streams will get water the ponds will get water the lakes will get water and on top of it another form of water is going inside the deep inside the Yes, the soil. That's what we are going to understand. Now, find out to find out the behavior of raindrops when they fall down. You will need certain things. A glass tank. We can do the same setup. I showed it to you. We need clay, sand, stones, gravel in soil, a tin with a small hole. See, we are making an artificial setup of exactly what we saw. Can you see that one? Now, let's see how we're doing that one. Put the components of soil into the glass tank as shown in the figure. So, you're point, going to put clay on top of it and then after that below that sand and then after that gravel and finally stones. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, inside the glass tank, you're putting that one and then after that, then pour some water onto the components using the tin with holes, just like make an artificial rain. Observe the flowing water. See that one? The water is flowing down and it is going and getting collected. What are your conclusion? What are your conclusion? Now see what's exactly happening. This is called precipitation. For the rain, they call it as precipitation. Surface water you can find and the ground water. The surface water you find in the sea and all these places. But you can find another water that we say and we discussed about. It's called groundwater that is beneath the ground. Now, let's understand what kind of a precipitation we get to the earth apart from raining, right? The types of precipitations are rain. You can see raining like that. Snow, that is also a kind of a precipitation or oh, hail hail storms happening like that kind of a st rock is falling have you ever felt it like that where the rock is falling in countries like Sri Lanka I've experienced in some other countries and sleet is happening like that sleet drops are much bigger than the snow drops okay now these are some of the types of the precipitation now let's understand the surface water. The types of surface waters are you can find in oceans and seas or you can find in rivers. You can find in streams like these, small streams, tanks like that. 
ponds like that and lakes we already know about it and waterfalls now where you find this groundwater the water in the wells and springs are the types of groundwater you see you're digging deep inside and you're taking the water from the ground that is also one way or you can put a well like this and you can take dig deep the water the dry areas they used to take water in that way so that is groundwater so you learned about three type of water that's coming to the chapter that's available that's precipitation and then after that surface water and then after that ground water okay now you know types of water based on availability right types of water based on availability precipitation surface water and ground water one more video is coming to an end till i meet you again in another beautiful video session bye bye Take care of yourself.